Hello, I'm Bob Brown, and in this short video, we'll make a half adder with Digital Works. The purpose is to get you familiar with Digital Works and the Digital Works workspace so that you can make your own projects. I've downloaded and installed Digital Works on Windows 10. Let's take a look at the workspace. At the top, we have the standard Windows tools. The circuit menu has stop, run, step, and clock speed menus. The next row is the parts bin where you'll find parts to um, assemble your digital logic circuit. There are gates, flip flops, memory devices, switches, push buttons, and LED, numeric, and seven segment displays for output. At the far right, we have the annotation tool marked with an A and the wiring tool. The wiring tool lets you connect components. It displays the word attach as a tooltip when it's on an attachment point. The most useful tools on the bottom row are the run button at the far left, which starts the clock and enables the evaluation of logic values, and the pointer and hand tools. The pointer tool lets you select items in the workspace and move, cut, copy, or delete them. The hand tool allows interaction with objects like switches and push buttons. You'll see these tools in use as we go along. Let's get started. I pick up an XOR gate from the parts bin and place it in the workspace. Then I'm going to pick up a push button. It's labeled interactive input and a second push button and place them near the inputs of the XOR gate. I move them back a little bit because we're going to want to wire to the inputs of the XOR gate. I pick up an LED and place it near the output. Then I use the wiring tool to attach the LED to the output of the XOR gate. We want things to be pretty, so I'm going to use the arrow tool to move the LED until I get a straight line on the wiring. I attach the two push buttons to the inputs of the XOR gate, and I'm going to again use the arrow tool to make things pretty. I press the run button at the top or top left, pick up the hand tool, and operate the two push buttons. We can see that the XOR gate is computing the exclusive OR of its two inputs. Now I pick up an AND gate from the parts bin and place it in the workspace. I'm going to place an LED near the output of the AND gate and wire it. Then I'm going to straighten that out and then wire the upper input of the AND gate to the upper input of the XOR gate. I'm going to Extend the wire on the input click to make a corner, and then connect the lower input of the AND gate to the lower input of the XOR gate. I press the run key, take the hand tool, and operate the push buttons. We can now see that our half adder is computing the sum and the carry of its two inputs. I use the file menu to do save as. I'm going to call this thing half adder when I save it. Since I have saved a half adder before as I was practicing this, it tells me that it's already saved and I overwrite it. Now that you have a working half adder, practice a little bit by converting your half adder into a full adder. The full adder is two half adders and an OR gate for the carry out. The difference between a half adder and a full adder is that the full adder makes a provision for a carry in. Some other things to try with digital works include making an SR latch. When you test your SR latch, remember that having both S and R true at the same time is not allowed. When you have a working SR latch, change it into a D latch. You'll be able to experiment with the D latch more easily if you use a push button rather than a clock for the clock input. For a more advanced project, package your full adder as a macro. You can find instructions by doing a web search on Digital Works Macro and use four copies of the macro to make a 4 bit ripple carry adder. This concludes the video Make a Half Adder with Digital Works. This video is copyright 2016 by Bob Brown and is licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 license.